Senator John McCain. Have any of you ever heard Senator John McCain talk about patriotism, honor, duty, and loyalty? Huh? How many have you heard him say that? He says it almost every day. Especially loyalty and duty to the members of the armed forces. He was in the U.S. Navy. He was a prisoner of war in Vietnam, as everybody knows. But very few people know that on June 8th, 1967, Israeli warplanes attacked a defenseless communication ship during the Israeli-Egyptian war that was in the Mediterranean called the USS Liberty. Although the Israeli military positively identified early that morning that ship as an American ship, they claimed later that they didn't have the right location where the Liberty was. They attacked this ship with napalm, with torpedo boats, machine gunning our sailors, and with French Mirage jets bombing that ship. 34 sailors lost their lives, 170 were wounded as that ship barely limped to an island base in the Mediterranean. What happened after that is something Senator McCain should answer for. A board of inquiry was established by Secretary of Defense McNamara and President Lyndon Johnson. It reported in a mere 10 days on June 18th, 1967, that it was an accidental attack by the Israeli Air Force. This has been proven false again and again. The head of that board of inquiry was Admiral McCain, John McCain's father, who was ordered to come out with the conclusion that it was accidental. The plane happened to be a communications plane. It's called a signal intelligence platform ship loaded with electronic radar gear. In other words, it intercepted electronic communications. And the Israelis, it is believed, attacked that ship because the SS Liberty was inter intercepting their electronic communications in terms of what areas they were going to bomb in Egypt and Syria and so on. What's interesting about this is that the chief attorney who helped the military investigation, Captain Ward Boston, later recanted. And he said that he stayed silent for years because he's a military man and, quote, when orders come, I follow them, end quote. He basically said it was not accidental, it was deliberate. And apparently, Senator McCain's father also follows orders, even though they are contrary to what the evidence shows. Do you know the last time we had a big trial of people who followed orders, and we said, you're not going to get away with that? It was the Nuremberg trials. Under international law, which we created, it is no longer an excuse for any military officer or soldier to do bad things and say, I was ordered to do it. Under international law, they can disobey and they're supposed to be protected. But the key here is Senator John McCain's role on this. When a book came out recently saying that it was, an, it was an accidental Israeli attack, it was a book written by the other side, viewpoint of the other side. On the back cover was a statement 
endorsing the finding that it was an accidental attack by Senator John McCain. He said, I commend Judge Crystal, which is, was a retired judge who wrote this book saying it was accidental, quote, for his thoroughness and fairness, and I commend this work. Now look who disagrees with John McCain. Then CIA Director Richard Helms thought it was deliberate. Secretary of State Dean Rusk thought it was deliberate. Admiral Thomas Hinman Maurer, former Chief of Naval Operations and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said the attack was deliberate. And the Chief Aide to President Truman in 1947, Clark Clifford, who helped create the State of Israel, thought it was deliberate. I call on Senator John McCain to tell the American people immediately to vindicate the truth in honor of the fallen and the wounded. And they deserve it from someone who is in the, was in the U.S. Navy, Senator John McCain. Do you, Senator McCain, agree with the Secretary of State at the time? Do you agree with the CIA director at the time? Do you agree with your Admiral Thomas Moore, former Chief of Naval Operations and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, that the attack by the Israeli Air Force and Navy was deliberate on the SS Liberty? The question for Senator McCain is the following. He has made a big deal out of his honor, his duty, his patriotism, and especially his loyalty to all the members of the armed forces, past and present. The question for Senator John McCain is this. Are you, Senator McCain, presidential aspirant, more intimidated by the APEC pro-Israeli lobby in Washington, D.C., which doesn't even reflect majority Jewish American opinion that favors a two-state solution, or are you, Senator John McCain, more loyal to the U.S. Navy, the families of the deceased, and the survivors of the SS Liberty who want you to tell the truth to the American people? 